I'm stoked to be here, man. I just turned 31. Yeah, thanks. I'm kind of starting to want to have kids, right? Okay. <laughs> what a millennial response. I feel like millennials have the same reaction to pregnancies that someone would react to having like a raccoon in their house. <laughs> They're just like, get it out, get it out. Close the door, close the door. Oh God. You were scared, you were scared. <laughs> that little thing almost got in here and ruined everything. <laughs> Woo! I don't know, man, I just want kids because I think kids are funny, man. They're uninhibited. They say whatever they're thinking all times of the day. Can't turn it off. Like, dude, I was walking down the street one time and a little kid passed me. And just as he passed me, he looked up at me and he went, hi. Yeah, and I was like, hi. And then he said, you look like a lizard. <laughs> I was like, what did he say? Did he say lizard? And then he was just gone, you know what I mean? <laughs> just leaving me to process that forever. <laughs> I was like, I think he said lizard. I'm pretty sure, I guarantee, the kid never thought about that interaction ever again. <laughs> Dude, I'll be 100% honest with you guys. Not a fucking day has gone by that I haven't thought about that shit. <laughs> That was a fleeting moment for that child, right? For me, just every morning in the mirror, <laughs> just thinking about the lizard thing, right? Thinking I see some sort of combination of like Steve Buscemi and now a fucking bearded dragon looking back at me. <laughs> just always thinking like, oh, screw that kid that one time, dude. I feel like you guys see it too a little bit. <laughs> you guys are like, ah, oh, little gecko. There's a little something in there. You gonna save me money on my car insurance dog? What's up? <laughs> Just feel like it's weird to have a kid right now. Things are just changing, you know? Like there's this big push right now that teachers should have guns. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel like you guys can have some guns, but give guns to teachers? Do you guys remember uh, teachers? <laughs> Not the most stable bunch I remember interacting with during my youth, you know? But I get it. You go into work every week, Monday, lizard. <laughs> Tuesday, lizard. Wednesday, lizard, Mr. Garrett. Ugh. I, that's got away on you, you know? Like, clap it up if you're a teacher. Yeah, where's, where's my teacher? You're nice. What grade do you teach? Third, okay, great. I'm gonna ask you a quick question, okay? Don't think too hard, just shout out the answer, okay? What's the name of the kid in your class who's the biggest piece of shit? <laughs> Let her answer. Bo, did you see that? Dude, see how quick that was? And guess what? She didn't even answer, it was like her boyfriend because he has to hear about it. He has to hear about it every day, dude. It's Bo, trust me, I hate him. I hear about him every day. I hate Bo. Yeah, give her a gun? Yeah, right, dude. She's coming in on Monday just like, oh, Bo. Looks like they passed a law and mama's packing. No more quiet coyote, it's quiet Colt 45 now. But there's a Bo in every class. Every, every class, we can all remember who the Bo was, you know? Like when I was in middle school, it was this kid named Justin. He was the worst. We were doing popcorn reading one time and uh, my teacher went, popcorn, Justin. And he just went, no. <laughs> and I, we we're all like, can you do that? Like, I think you just read, my dude. I can see my teacher's face. You know, she's just burying her face in her hand. Just got that look on her face. Like, why didn't I just get my fucking real estate license? <laughs> Swear to God, she turns to him and goes, Justin, Maybe you could just read two sentences. Swear to God, he turns to her and goes, maybe you can suck my balls. <laughs> Dude, probably the worst day in her teaching career. Maybe to this day, best day of my life, I don't know. <laughs> she just lost her mind. She just started freaking out, yelling at him, and rightfully so, you know, because that's crazy. And I'm not saying if she would have had a gun that day. <laughs> I'm not saying she would have shot Justin. That's crazy, okay? But you can guarantee she should have at least flashed that piece. You know what I mean? He's like, why don't you suck my balls? She's like, why don't you say that again? Yeah? Suck my what? Why don't you suck on this, Justin? He's like, oh, oh. 
you guys see how scared Justin is? What a pussy. <laughs> you know who else is a pussy? Piggy from Lord of the Flies. Now turn to chapter four. <laughs> it's crazy times, man. I think most millennials, like we're okay with not having kids, you know? I think it's because we were raised with the internet. I think we've just seen too much. Cause like our parents had cool things to watch during their formative years, you know? They had like the Brady Bunch, Happy Days, Three's Company. What did we have? Two girls, one cup? <laughs> like, <laughs> it's pretty easy to see that video when you're young and grow up and be like, oh, there is no future here for us. <laughs> we should stop this thing now, dude. <laughs> We were all doing crazy things on the internet. All of us, everyone in this room, when you were young, you were doing crazy things on the internet. Like I spent what I would call too much time on chat roulette. <laughs> you hear the collective trauma in the room? <laughs> chat roulette. You guys clap it up if you guys remember chat roulette. Yeah. Chat roulette was an amazing thing, right? It was like this, this amazing tool. Like what would people do? if they could meet people from around the world anonymously. Would they make new friends, end, end f fighting and wars, create world peace? The verdict is in, it's just masturbate. <laughs> That's all that was happening on there. But every once in a while, you would like find like another regular person on there who would just look all scared. <laughs> it was like seeing a person in the zombie apocalypse. You're like, oh, how long have you been in here? Are you okay? How many have you seen? Are there more? If I go this way, are there more? There always were more. There was always more. I don't know why we kept going on. We would just do it. I don't know. We were like, maybe it'll be different this time. And then we'd go on and be like, nope, there it is. There's the guys again doing the thing. Okay. You guys want to do this for three more hours? But we didn't just go on chat roulette. We had to take it just like a step further. You know, we couldn't just go on. Uh, so what we used to do is my buddy John used to get in the webcam and he'd frame out everything from about here and here, right? So this is what was in frame. And then he would do mangina. Yeah. If you guys don't know by what I'm doing, it's where you tuck your dick and balls in between your legs like that, right? And, and so then the guy on the other end of this webcam would see that and be like, oh, hell yeah, dude. <laughs> this guy's been waiting for a girl for hours. He's like, oh, hell yeah. Dude, and my buddy John would like get real into it. We were like, okay, John. We didn't know he even had it in him, right? We'd let the guy on the webcam go for about 30 seconds and right at about the 30 second mark, my buddy John would just go, boom! And just dump it all out, you know? And then me and like five of my friends would just rush into the webcam and just go, gay! You're gay, man! That was like a Friday night for us. Like, of course we can't afford houses. Like, like, how confusing must that have been for my mother hearing that, you know? She's out in the hallway. We're just in the room shouting, gay, gay. She comes in, I'm shouting gay at a webcam, right? With my buddy's penis literally resting on my forehead. I'm just like, good job, buddy. We got him good. We pranked him good, huh? I, uh, I got married recently. I'm stoked about that. I'm excited about it. I'm just more excited that I don't have to date anymore. It's horrifying, man. It's the worst thing we have to do, mostly because everyone's really judgmental, right? But like, we all think we're open-minded, but it, it takes just something really small to shift your whole perception of a person, doesn't it, right? Yeah, it does. I'll give you a very easy example, okay? Like, make some noise if you're like a single woman in the dating world. Make some noise. Woo! Yeah. Okay, uh, second, second row here. Okay, so let me ask you a quick question, okay? Hey, let's just say you and I were on a dating app, okay? And let's say we're having a conversation and the conversation's going really well and we're like really connecting. Maybe connecting more than you've ever connected with anyone in your whole life, right? And ignore the lizard thing, okay? Pretend like I didn't say that. But solely based off of us having like a strong connection, would we at the very least go on one date, like just to see it through? Yeah, great, okay. Now hold on to that, right? Hold on to everything. It's the, everything is the exact same, except for now, the only small difference is that now my hat is like this. <laughs> We all felt that, right? Right, 
are we still going on that day? No, no we're not. She even answered too. She's getting involved. I said no, right? That's crazy. That's just my hat going over two inches. That's the only difference. Oh, oh. Right, but we all felt it. We thought this guy, really good guy, maybe future husband, and then all of us simultaneously thought, fuck this guy. <laughs> Why? I don't know. But listen, you're all 100% right for making that assessment. Because I really do feel like a hat on a guy is just a dial for mental illness. <laughs> There's levels to it, you know what I mean? Like just a little notch over, you know? Like this guy's a little creepy, you know? He's unassuming, but he might say something weird like, yo, you're really beautiful, but you look a lot prettier if you smile more. <laughs> like, Ew, what was that? Ew. Dude, full sideways? <laughs> guy's talking with his hands, you know what I mean? <laughs> He's licking his lips before he says crazy shit like, no doesn't always mean no, ma. <laughs> then there's this guy, right? There's this guy, hover hat. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You know what I'm talking about? This guy where you're not sure how the hat's staying on? <laughs> Just perched up there like a bro yarmulke? <laughs> like this guy will confidently walk up to you at a party, call you chief or boss. <laughs> and no matter what you say, he's always gonna respond, ha ha, bet. <laughs> Actually, come to think of it, this is just Justin, like, grown up. You know what I mean? And he might be older now, but he's the same dude. Because you'll go on a date with Justin, and he'll still turn to you and be like, maybe you should suck my balls. <laughs> <laughs> then the weirdest thing happens, right? You get all the way back, just a straight up backwards hat guy. And this guy's actually totally chill. You can get with this guy. This guy's great. This guy just wants to watch reruns of Survivor and like smash, you know? <laughs> Forward and backwards, it's fantastic, but anything in between. Run for the hills, because that's a psychopath, 100%. I love doing this bit too, because there's always someone with a backwards hat in the audience who I can just see holding their breath throughout that entire movie. <laughs> And as soon as I get to the back and I'm just like, you can love this guy. He's like, oh, fucking okay, thank God. <laughs> you guys have been really great. Thank you. My name is Paul Gary. <laughs>